Hi Credit. So in today's video, I just want to make accounting equation very very simple and straightforward for you. So please make sure that you watch all this video. Make sure that you like this video and subscribe so that you can get more videos like this where you are going to learn the basics of accounting under EMS. Alright, so like I said, what we are going to do today, we call it accounting equation so when it when we talk about accounting equation we have a different format uh, that you also have to know so we only have five transitions that we are going to do today so this is our answer book that we are going to use to fill okay so when we talk about accounting equation the first step you are you have to identify assets you have to know what is an asset assets we are talking about an item that owned by a business okay we have an equity we also have a what a liability okay so let's start by assets when we talk about assets we are talking about something like equipment a vehicle we can talk about land and building we can also talk about a bank and we can also talk about inventory but please make sure that you visit your textbook so that you can check more examples that are related to an asset okay when we talk about an equity we have something like a capital, we have um, incomes and expenses fall under equity. Okay, so you have to know that. Then we have a liability. When we talk about liability, this is the amount that we owe to someone. If we purchase something on credit, which means that we still have to pay that person, which means that we have a what? A liability. So you might be familiar with this equation that I'm going to write, which uh, we say asset is equal to owner's equity plus liability so you have to know this uh, equation because you are still going to use it when you prepare something like a balance sheet however in today's lesson we are going to focus only on accounting equation okay without wasting any other time let's start with our transition so please make sure that when you read each transaction you identify two components because we need two components for each transaction there is no way that you can have a transition that has only one component. Okay, let's do example uh, with our first transaction. Okay, on the first, so this, we were going to use this as a date. First, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Okay, number one, owner, Mr. J, contributed a 1,000 capital cash. So you know that in order for you to start a business, you have to contribute what? A capital. So he contributed 1,000 so that he can run his business. Okay, we must identify two components that we are going to use under assets or equity or liability. So let's identify them. Number one, we have identified a capital is a component. A capital is a component that fall under equity. Okay, then the second one we identify a cash, but we don't call it cash, we call it a bank because we put money inside the the bank we don't uh, when we run a business guys we can't handle a cash we have to put it inside the bank so we call it bank once you see the word cash you have to know that there is a bank or if you see the word received we receive it to our bank if we paid we paid using our bank okay this is two components that we identify and it's one thousand now it's very simple we have to fill this uh, accounting equation now because you know example of asset you know that bank is one of them which means that you are going to write a bank okay you are going to write a bank and capital you know is part of equity from the all example that you read under equity you're gonna find capital as well okay but now we are not done just that if you, you are able to write the component where it's for, it's very simple now. The amount is 1,000. It's fine. Uh, it's 1,000. It's 1,000. But when we deal with accounting equation, guys, it doesn't work like that. We have to make sure that we write a sign, whether it's a plus, minus, and so on and so on. Okay. This is the uh, equation that you have to use. Let's write all of them. We have assets. When we talk about an asset, if you find something debited, 
is an increase and on the credit is a decrease and asset then equity and liability they go opposite with asset it's a minus plus minus plus simply means that uh, if uh, we reduce our equity we are going to debit we are going to use sign minus okay now let's go back to our case now the question is did we receive money as a business by uh, this capital yes we receive money which means that it's a plus we are going to have a plus 1000 simple now let's go to capital because we debit a, 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 an asset which means that the rest we have to to credit guys we don't debit uh, both of them or credit both of them one credited and another one must be debited okay which means that of course it's going to be a plus now let's go to this equation asset is equal to owner equity plus liability liability we find zero here then assets one plus one thousand equals two plus one thousand plus zero is going to give you an answer but if you said negative uh, one thousand equals to positive one thousand plus zero it's not going to give you uh, the, this equation so it's gonna be wrong okay now let's go to number two mr j bought inventory of 500 on credit now we have to identify two components number one is inventory which is an asset number two is creditors control because we purchase on on credit a credit is a liability like i said guys remember if you purchase something on credit you still owe someone you, you still have to pay which means that we identify a credit which is a creditors control and the other one that we identify is inventory which is an asset okay then amount is 500 500 okay now the question is what about the sign did we receive inventory yes we received inventory which means that our assets is going up now it's going to to increase now because assets we debit which means that the other one we must credit which is going to give us a plus why plus on the liability we increase a debt now we still we owe more money because we haven't paid that person our liability goes up but once we pay is going to be negative here okay number three mr j paid a salary of 700 to employees okay there is two keywords here number one we have salary number two we have paid paid i said it's a bank once you see what's paid there's a money outside the bank once you see, see received we receive money inside our bank okay now paid is going to be a bank of course we are going to see negative here because we paid employees we are going to see minus 700 our money goes out outside our bank and we paid employees we paid them a salary salary is an expense which is fall under equity okay which means that it's going to be a salary and it's going to be negative 700 why negative 700 remember once we credit assets which means that we have to debit equity it must balance with this equation okay then number four mr j purchased vehicle on credit by two thousand very simple vehicle is an asset credit is liability which means that we're gonna have a vehicle and another one we're gonna have a credit task control okay what about amount of course our liability is going up now and our vehicle is going to increase because we bought a vehicle which means that we are going to have more assets now okay then the last one inventory of 500 purchased on the second is this one on the second has been paid remember we purchased a inventory on credit and it's indicated that we owe 500 which means that now that 500 because we paid is going to be 
negative we reduce liability because we paid the liability how do we pay it we pay through the bank which means that our bank now is going to to be minus minus 500 simple as that case so this is how you should prepare your accounting equation so thank you so much for watching guys please make sure that you share with friend like and subscribe see you on the next one